Trucker Dump for March 11th, 2009, Episode 1. Sometimes you just need a machine gun. Welcome to Trucker Dump, where you'll get one driver's insights and sometimes humorous views of truck driving and the trucking industry, and pretty much anything else he feels like dumping on you. This podcast is brought to you by AboutTruckDriving.com. Resources that help you understand the world of truck driving through the use of stories and a pathetic attempt at humor. Hey there, and thanks for listening to my very first podcast. Todd McCann here. As I said in episode zero, I apologize for the noise. I do all my recording inside the sleeper berth of my truck. Right now there's some moron next to me who feels like he needs to high idle his truck in 50 degree weather. <laughs> So between that and the fast food that's given me a nasty case of the burps, we may be in for a rough one. So let's get started with the first blog post I ever did. I called it, Sometimes You Just Need a Machine Gun. I really hate to start a brand new blog with a rant session, but she's Louise. Like every job, trucking too has its ups and downs. Today was one of those days that just suck from the get-go. Here's the deal. Our truck won't high idle. For you non-truckers out there... High idle is a feature on a semi-truck that you engage when you're going to be parked a while. On low idle, the engine doesn't have very much oil pressure, which is fine if you're sitting in traffic or you'll only be idling for a short time. High idle bumps the engine RPMs up enough to pump a sufficient amount of oil into the engine, effectively reducing engine wear and keeping our air conditioner or heater working. Anyway, about three weeks ago, we put our truck into one of our company shops to fix this problem. The shop was backed up, so we didn't get in until the end of the following day. That's when they tell us that their computer program that's designed to fix our problem has been out of commission for a couple of weeks. Now, why couldn't they tell us that before we sat for two days? Now on to our current issue. That was three weeks ago, and we still haven't made it to a shop yet. The problem is, I wasn't going to be hosed again, so I called all of our shops to verify that their computer system was working. Unfortunately, only one shop, out of five, could fix the problem. Our fleet manager tried like the dickens to get us to that particular shop, but as you might imagine, freight is slow due to the economy, and she just couldn't get her done. Until last night, when we got within five hours of that shop. That's spitting distance for truckers. Then, unexpectedly, night dispatch told us we had to take a load in the opposite direction. We tried to refuse the load and we pleaded our case, but they swore we were the only truck that could pick it up on time. Yeah, right. We've heard that one before. Did I mention that we also have an 18-inch crack in our windshield, a bladder-jolting steering vibration, wipers that turn off when they feel like it, and a piece of plastic hanging from the underneath of our front bumper? Well, I told them, but to no avail. Now, I was as hot as a sautéed cayenne pepper, but I knew my boss would come through for me. I was sure that as soon as my fleet manager got in this morning that she would take us off that load, but as typically happens on crappy days, crappy luck ensued. Instead, she was working in another department, due to personnel cuts, also caused by the economy, and her fill-in cared about our problem as much as the night shifters had. Well, finally, there is a happy ending to this saga of woe. Eventually, the company found another driver that was headed toward the shop we needed to get to, and he traded us loads. So by tomorrow evening, we'll be within 100 miles of that shop. And at that point, if someone decides to send us off to the Arctic Circle again, well, I just may need to borrow that machine gun after all. Probably something lightweight, so I can make a clean getaway. Well, thanks for listening. I hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. The easiest way to do that is through the iTunes Store. And remember, I should get better at this over time. If you want to give me some feedback for the podcast or you have questions about trucking in general, you can send me an email at truckerdump at gmail.com. Or if you've got a comment about this particular podcast, just go to abouttruckdriving.com, enter TD1 into the search box, that stands for Trucker Dump Episode 1, and leave your thoughts in the comments section. As you can already tell, rants are welcome. I can also be found on Twitter. Just search for at Todd McCann. That's two D's, two C's, and two N's. Hope to hear from you soon. So until next time, drive safe and stay out of my way.